even though we have heard about a number of famous racing drivers, we can find only a few drivers who were successful across multiple racing categories. So this is the story of such a driver who was able to enjoy considerable success over multiple racing categories, winning two legs of the triple crown of motorsport as well. Even though this driver was unable to win a Formula 1 title, he is still famous among Formula 1 fans because of his aggressive driving style. So, this is the story of Colombian motorsport legend Juan Pablo Montoya. Stay to the last second of the video, as we're going to tell you some interesting facts about JPM's racing career. But before we proceed, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon for more exciting updates. Montoya is a racing driver from Bogota, Colombia, who began his racing career under the influence of his father, Pablo, who was a motorsport enthusiast. His first racing experience came at the young age of five, with his participation in the junior karting series. Montoya showed signs of a talented racing driver since his junior days. The Colombian racing legend was able to promote himself to the Colombian Formula One Renault series in 1993. He was able to win four out of eight races there, recording five poles as well. In order to develop his skills, he joined the US-based Skip Barber Driving School and was hailed by instructors as one of the greatest talents that had ever joined the racing school. Then JPM turned towards the Swift GTI Championship, dominating the entire series winning 7 out of 8 races while earning the pole position in each race as well. For the first time in his racing career, Montoya started to compete in multiple racing categories in 1994 by participating in the Sudan 125 Karting Series, Barba Saab Pro Series and Formula N Series in Mexico. The Colombian was able to win the title in two of them, despite having to switch between different racing conditions within a brief time interval. Within the next three years, he competed in multiple racing categories, showing a higher level of adaptability to different racing conditions compared to the other racing drivers. After enjoying considerable success in competitive series like the Formula Vauxhall Championship and British Formula 3, he got an opportunity to compete in the Formula 3000 series, which is the equivalent to the current Formula 2 series. He was hired by the RMS Marco team for the 1997 season to compete alongside Craig Lowndes. Montoya was able to finish his rookie season as second in the final standings, recording three wins and three poles out of ten races. He was very unlucky to miss the championship by just 1.5 points. However, Montoya's performance in the Formula 1 feeder series was noticed by Williams F1 team, and he was invited for a test drive at Barcelona alongside with two other junior drivers. The Colombian driver was the fastest one among these three drivers and was signed as a test driver for Williams F1 alongside Max Wilson, who participated in the test drive. He decided to compete one more season in the Formula 3000 series, in parallel to his test driver duties at Williams. Throughout the 1998 season, he had a very close fight with Nick Heidfield who was driving for the McLaren's F3000 team. However, he emerged as a champion at the end of the 1998 season, with 4 wins, 7 poles and 9 podiums out of 12 races. His arrival at the kart series came as a deal happened between Williams F1 team owner Frank Williams and kart team owner Chip Ganassi to attract more investors towards the underperforming Williams team ahead of the 1999 season. So the 1998 kart champion Alex Zanardi returned to Formula 1 and Montoya took his place in Chip Ganassi's racing team. While Zanardi was experiencing hard racing conditions at Formula 1, Montoya was able to take the entire American motorsport by storm. He won the car championship in his first attempt, and this was an achievement accomplished only by a former F1 champion, Nigel Mansell. After this achievement, Williams' team gave him the opportunity to return to F1 again ahead of the 2000 season, but he turned down that offer and decided to stay one more season in America. However, the cars used by Ganassi Racing Team for the 2000 season were not strong, and Montoya was unable to defend his title. But he competed in the Indianapolis 500 series in that year and was able to clinch the victory in his first attempt. He then returned to Formula 1 for the 2001 season with Williams BMW. 
Even though Montoya was fast and aggressive, his challenger lacked the pace to challenge Schumacher's Ferrari. He appeared as a clear contender for the 2003 title, but his hopes gradually faded away when the season progressed. After driving full four seasons for Williams without enjoying considerable success, he decided to turn towards the McLaren Formula 1 team in 2005. But his results with McLaren were also moderate and decided to retire from F1 at the end of the 2006 season. During his brief six seasons long F1 career, Montoya was able to record seven wins, 30 podiums and 13 poles out of his 95 career starts. The Colombian racing legend is regarded as one of the quickest drivers in his era, despite being unable to win an F1 title to prove his talent. After joining NASCAR in 2006, Montoya was able to record two wins with 59 top 10 finishes while driving for the Earnhardt Ganassi racing team. Throughout his racing career, JPM had a very close relationship with the Ganassi racing team, driving for it in different racing categories like kart, NASCAR and Rolex 24 hours. But he lost his contract at the end of the 2013 season. Then Montoya joined Team Penske to compete in the IndyCar series and stayed with the team as a full-time driver until the end of the 2016 season. But in 2017, he competed only in the Indianapolis 500 and IndyCar Grand Prix. After three years of absence in the category, he joined with Arrow McLaren SP to compete only in the Indy 500 and Grand Prix of Indianapolis for the 2021 and 2022 seasons. Within his 57 races long IndyCar career, JPM has been able to record 5 wins, 13 podiums and 3 poles. Since he left the IndyCar series as a full-time driver, Montoya is competing in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, driving for Acura Team Penske. The Colombian was able to win the championship in 2019 with his partner driver Dane Cameron. He has successfully completed two legs of the Triple Crown of Motorsport by winning the Monaco Grand Prix and Indy 500. He came close to achieving it in 2018 when he finished third in the LMP2 class of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Unfortunately, he missed the opportunity of winning it by a slim margin. He is not a Formula 1 world champion, but it's not a problem for his fame as a legendary racing driver. If he had a powerful and consistent challenger, Montoya would surely have won an F1 title as well, but he was not lucky enough to have that opportunity in his F1 career. There are only a few drivers we can find in the history of motorsport that successfully competed in multiple racing categories and Montoya's name will appear at the top of that list forever. What do you think about JPM's career? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel to get more exciting Formula 1 news. See you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.